Do you have a great idea for a podcast? Or maybe you already have a podcast, but you're getting overwhelmed with editing or production. Head over to EndeavorPodcastSolutions.com. They have everything you need from intros and outros to editing work, voiceover, you name it. That's EndeavorPodcastSolutions.com. Podcasting simplified. Happy 2020, people. By the time you listen to this, most of you will have already failed your resolutions. Don't worry, it's not a big deal. I'm sure you spent more money on worse shit than that gym membership anyway. But it's a new year, fresh start. Just kidding. It's fucking Wednesday, and you don't need an exact date to better yourself if you really mean to. And you don't need to feel bad about that failed resolution. Unless it was something like, I'm going to stop getting hammered and beating my kids, or I'm going to stop masturbating on public transit, because that shit needs to stop. But all in all, New Year's resolutions are bullshit. With that said, Maestro, get those clothes off my treadmill and hit that music. All right, welcome back to Needless to Say. This is Dave. I'm here with Craig and Brad. Two completely unfulfilled New Year's resolutions, and it's only four days into the new year. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Fantastic. I know Craig's doing great. He's got a new, brand new toy. Brand new right toy now. to play with right now. I'm loving it. Yeah, it was great when Craig decided to destroy a soundboard just so he could buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what the fuck this thing is. As soon as I saw it come out of the box, I'm like, this looks vaguely familiar, you know, without Craig's knee print in it. <laughs> exactly what we got. Yeah. You this know how when people good. post pictures like after they get into a fight of like bloody knuckles and stuff? Craig sends us a picture of his knuckles covered in, like, keys from a keyboard and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up that light. Yeah, I did. I fucking jacked that fucking thing right up. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. Yeah. So, Happy New Year, boys. Happy yeah. New Year. We are now into the New Year, yeah. We are. Oh, my God. It's been eight minutes, and nobody has made that Barbara Walters joke. Oh, God, that fucking joke, man. Is the internet just the worst? I mean, we just got over that chick screaming at the cat. Yeah, yeah. And now all of a sudden everybody thinks, wait a minute, this is clever. Hi, this is Barbara Walters. Welcome to 2020. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's not funny. It's I, not. Do we have any new sound effects on this new soundboard that looks like the old one? But- <laughs> <laughs> really is very good although i don't want to applaud that fucking meme if you have to communicate in memes just die like make that your resolution (laughs) yeah just die no one's gonna miss you just die if you really think you're communicating in a meaningful way stop breathing (laughs) (laughs) 2020 will thank you yep you can sign off like hugh downs (laughs) i'm gonna hold my breath now But uh, the whole Halloween, the Halloween, the oh whole my. holiday, fucking. What do you? What do you run the is, Redskins? Yeah. <laughs> Halloween. But the whole holiday shit is over. Not shit. I love it. It's my favorite time of year. But it gets exhausting. Like at this point, I'm. It's over. I'm okay with it. You know it, what I mean? This time of year is a. It's a black hole of. Yeah. S- s- like having a sense of time. I don't know what day it is. I haven't known what day it is since about Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's I. It was on um, Wednesday. I was like, "This is the weirdest Sunday Wednesday thing yeah. I've ever had." Like, this is I'm like this is fucked up. I'm like this. Then I got up on Thursday. I'm like, "This is the worst Monday Thursday I've ever had." And we have <laughs> all done this for yeah. years. Yeah, but every year we get surprised. It's like the first time it's cold out, and everybody's like, "Wow, it's really chilly outside in New England." In yeah. December, go on. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. But everybody just acts surprised. Yeah, it fucks up your week. Yeah. Especially when it comes right in the middle. Yeah. Well, I think that's what it was because for us, it's, and Brad, you know this, middle of the week, the kids are off from school for two weeks straight. Mm-hmm. When Christmas and, and New Year's fall on 
at the end of the week or beginning of the week, they don't have this much time off. Yeah, exactly. So it's all fucking weird. I'm all, I, but Greg said it like, weirdest Sunday on a Wednesday. Yeah. I felt like it, it should have been watering plants and doing laundry. Yeah, it was just weird. I'm like, what the fuck is going on water around here? Plants. <laughs> watering plants and doing laundry. That's what I do on Sunday. Like, Dave and his ficus. <laughs> 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 While Ray just goes, one of those plants, bitch. Get the- <laughs> well, you've seen me and you've seen my wife. I'll do anything I have to do. Yeah. <laughs> Does she scream, no ferns, no bush? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> no, I promise you, we're not going to bombard you with sound effects. It's just a new board and it was fun. <laughs> No, I love this thing. It's great. Um, this is like a Christmas present to us. Yeah. And we're finally using it. So and uh, hopefully it sounds better. I mean, um, it pays for itself in 38 recycled sound clips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. No, it's, uh, it's, it's a cool thing. I'm excited for it. I think once we get back into the bigger space, like the garage show will get back to sounding a little different. You know, it's tough. We've been recording indoors. We're in small rooms. So a little echoey and stuff, but... I think we've been You've doing You've done your magic, right. though. I listened back the other night to the Greatest Hits thing for 2019, the last one we did. Yeah. And uh, it sounds great. In my yep. opinion, you're cleaning it up nice. Whatever echo you're hearing, it's only because you got trained ears for it. I'm not catching it. Yeah. And, you know, and I don't know how Dave feels, but... Craig's an idiot, but he does a good job. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. But... You're right. It, sound, it, it sounds crisp. It sounds like we're sitting in a sound booth. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> I'll take that. No. The audio um, quality, not your voice. Yeah, no, that doesn't. No, 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 your voice sounds like someone trying to sing inside of a furnace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's an old furnace, bad. not a new one. Like an old ass furnace, it's like <laughs> clanging and with shit. Black smoke coming yeah. out of it and shit. Yeah. Like the furnace has cancer type sound. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy! So I'd ask you guys how New Year's was, but I think I know you were all there. Yes, yes I, we were. I entertained for the first time a year later, and you guys had you over. Now we I, we had planned to do like music, and you know we were going to play some games and hang out. We figured we have the kids. The kids disappeared downstairs. Yep, and we never saw them again. No, and then we didn't get off our asses. We literally all ended up sitting on the floor playing a game. And none of us wanted to admit that we had a real hard time getting up. Yeah, exactly. But we played yeah. Cards Against Humanity, which isn't news. I mean, people have been playing this game for years, but we hadn't. And let me tell you, we we had a good time. Three fucking hours with yeah, this we game. Did. It was it was fun. It was definitely a fun game. Missed Ray Ann. Wish she could have been there, but yeah, probably sure. for the best. Yeah. The amount of germs in my house. But <laughs> not. But definitely, uh, my wife and I wanted to thank you for having us over. You and your family it was great. Food was great. A lot of fun. You fuckers don't eat. All you guys talk about is all the food you eat. You show up in my house and I eat fucking thing. I've been eating be like vegan chili for like four days. <laughs> I was, you know, I thought about that. Like there was there was a giant pot of chili. Was, just, I didn't I have I didn't have any of the chili. Yeah, I didn't. It was I outstanding. Think, but no, after it's four days. I think it was the you know selling it as vegan chili. Did it, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. It's yeah, basically jo- a hot salad. I'm joking because I did. Fran had a little bit and I tried it and it was good. No, it's phenomenal. there was it's. I was blown away by those, uh, by the um, what do you call it? Was it the Big Mac? Oh, the egg oh, rolls. The egg yeah, rolls. Egg rolls. <sighs> but we got to, we got shot twice on those because we didn't bake them long enough, and we had to bake them because we had no cooking oil. Yeah. And so they turned out okay, in my opinion. But they were the, delicious. Those crumbles that she used, and I don't want to turn this into a whole thing, but they taste just like Taco Bell meat. It does. So if you can envision a Big Mac crumbled up, that's basically the same meat. Yeah. And they make for a perfect replica of it. And so Dave was the one that inspired it from his party. We yep. started making them vegan, and they're honestly you can't tell the difference. No, the, you can't. They're, I was I was really good. I was amazed by it when I was eating them. I'm like, these things are really good. And your wife said it. She's like, oh, you know, that's that that. We crumbles. were gonna play a joke on Dave, and he's just like, I don't give a fuck. I'll eat anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't, yeah he didn't give a shit. Yeah, nope. I would have eaten it. In fact, while I was having those, I was actually loosening my belt as I was eating them in your dining room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, I didn't know how to take that because I have this big open window and Dave's loosening his belt. I don't know if he's going to beat us or just <laughs> drop trial. I mean, yeah. So many emotions. The funny thing is, like like you said, not eat. Like, I would have sat there and just poured that bowl of shrimp into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, drinking the milk out of a cereal bowl. Oh. Like, I would have fucking hammered that You're shit. Disgusting. But I had to back off because I'm like, I'll eat it all. I'll eat every fucking single one in here. You guys left some. 
There was yeah. food for days. We yeah. just finished eating it. Well, when you were telling us, like, oh, we're going to make this, that, I'm like, there's only six of us. Yeah. I get it, but you know, I and don't like going to parties. I, even if it's five, six people, I always like to see a spread, at least for a holiday. No, yeah. And no, I'd rather absolutely. have too much food and have you guys just not eat it than not have enough and have you guys wondering, hey, when can I get home when, and have cheese and crackers? Which is yeah. funny because you bitched about the overindulgence on Thanksgiving about a month and a half ago. All right, and then, wait, and then mean, made 30 pounds of food right. for six people. <laughs> yeah. you, you made chili in a, a bathtub I put in the backyard. We for wanted the kids. variety. Yeah. When we entertain, it's variety. When you do yeah. Thanksgiving, it's the same food every year. No, There were no surprises on Thanksgiving. We wanted to try something different. I didn't know what kind of mood you were. We wanted to have food for the kids. There was a lot more going on there. And it yeah. wasn't that much food. It's just we created so much variety that your kids didn't eat at all. Oh, no. My son had seven desserts. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and my yeah. my son had seizures the next morning from the amount of sugar he took. <laughs> the the shit that I found Dude. in that basement, I don't know really? how all the things I found. <laughs> I, I won't even get into it on the air. It'd be boring were, for everybody else, but as parents, oh yeah, I'll tell you later. <laughs> they were having a blast though. Oh yeah, it's just, it just I get nervous with them running too much because those walls, that house did not have children in it for many years. Yeah, there were walls with like nails sticking out and things. I yep. just waited for one of them to just impale themselves. Yeah, and I have to sit there and explain. Yes, happy tetanus New Year. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to do that first time in the tank. So every and plus we got those poles. Yeah, and I get nervous with those poles that somebody's just going to brain themselves on it. And so we got lucky they didn't. Yeah, but you know, by the end of the night, I'm like, these kids are. They, they at least they slept the next day. That's all I can fucking. Yeah, no, they, they were the playing clothes. all night. You could just hear them. It yeah. was just constant laughter and yelling and running, and it was funny. Mine didn't sleep in the car. Really, almost a half an hour drive. Still home, all jacked up, wide awake. Teddy, what's this? What's that? What's this? I'm like, it's a fucking business if it's been closed for two days. It's a bit- <laughs> There's no lights on anywhere, but yeah, yep. all the way home. Why yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good time, though. We had a good time. We'll yeah, do it definitely. again. Maybe, you know, with less presentation. But yeah. when the weather gets nicer, we'll do like a whole yard thing. Mm. And we'll, this time, I mean, like I said, like my wife was all upset because she wanted to bring something. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she, but it wasn't, we didn't know the plans changed last minute. We were supposed to be going to Mike's. Mike was sick. You know, and then Brad was nice enough to say, hey, come on by, you know. So we went there. I mean, I and, went, drove constantly back and forth between my house and Mike's, and I couldn't find my lost invitation. <laughs> I, know, I know it got lost in the mail, and I know it because they told me the next day. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they told me the next day, yeah. But then anyway, the motherfucker calls me up the next day and wants to go get he's call he's drinking. It's five in the afternoon they went to they went to a restaurant and they're having a few drinks. They're trying to get Oh, come and meet us over here. I'm like No. You don't work fucking tomorrow. <laughs> I drank like a bastard last night. I don't work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we had the same conversation with them. Apparently they love us. <laughs> So again, I'll do one more lap trying to find that invite, but I, I, I think we're going to call off the search soon. Anyway, all right. So what do you say we get into this? Um, since it's the new year, Dave had a great idea, and I think he should introduce it. Oh, yeah. Well, everybody's big on making resolutions and you know turning over a new leaf for the new year. So I thought it'd be fun that maybe not to make our own resolutions, but to introduce some resolutions for each other. Okay. Yes. And then go beyond that and make some resolutions for people we think that need them. It's funny because I was giving some thought to, like, what what am I going to say? What am I going to say? And then I'm like, wait a minute. I don't need to even think about this because I'm constantly thinking of ways I wish you two would improve yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to repackage my daily wishes. <laughs> I'm kidding, sort of. <laughs> so if, I, I'll lead off Please if you guys do. want. So yeah. I'll... I'll uh, uh, but the first resolution I thought of was for Craig. So, in addition to cutting back on sugar, also yeah. cut back on racism. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not racist <laughs> by any means. <laughs> I'll do it's a resolution. But, Try it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, let this be the one you actually keep. Right. You know, yeah. We don't care how many Snickers you eat. Yeah. <laughs> <I> really don't. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me throw one out for Brad, then I'll pass it to Craig, and we'll go. Okay. On. So the first one I thought of for Brad is I think you should just accept the fact that you're the wife in your marriage. <laughs> I know where you're getting that, but oh, how wrong you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll consider it in the spirit of the game. <laughs> uh, 
All right. So I had one for Dave, which was um, stop shitting yourself and telling everybody about it. <laughs> I think the second part's the bigger part. <laughs> like if you shit yourself privately and you never bring it up again, yeah. we're all good with that. Biggest problem because I think it's making me do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Contagious spasm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a social contagion. <laughs> oh my god. And Brad, I think uh you should learn some handy shit. Build something. Like to see new friends build something this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you to build something this year. Okay. Whatever it is, just do some handy stuff. I know you can do it. <laughs> I know I can too, but I've always just hired people like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with you. Uh, that that uh, Clearly you and Dave have a theme. And that's fine, but uh, no, I'll, sh I'll show you guys. You'll see. It's the brain's All right. a waste. I want, yeah. All right, Dave, uh, I want you to stop fatting. <laughs> in your body in your head in everything that comes out of your mouth stop being the fat bitch that you are <laughs> do love you though man really, thank you. much prop much props for 2020 stop fatting oh, and, and, and craig stop dumbing <laughs> The irony is I'm making up verbs like you do. Yeah. But no, stop dumbing. You're not dumb. <laughs> you're not. See, I'm actually trying to reinforce. Dave's not really a fat guy, and you're not really dumb. But you're playing these roles so fucking well yeah. <laughs> that your mirrors are now agreeing with you. Uh, honestly, I just think uh, also be nice to me tonight, and you know us. You know why? You know what's you know what's funny is that last one for Craig. I had something very similar. I was like, tape together that ripped up GED and pretend like you earned it. <laughs> Make sure you put those letters in the right order at the top. Though. His GDE. Yeah. <laughs> tape together. Like, you know what do I do with this edge? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the other one for Brad I had was uh, just try the phrase "nice job" or "I agree." <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about actually doing an episode where I don't say a thing, and I wanted to see how long it would be before you guys noticed it. <laughs> Tonight's obviously not the night, but I'm going to do it. No, I, I'm with you. I, I, I like that. I will, I'll drink to that. Well, it was funny because I had one for Dave that was very similar to Brad's. It was just, eat more salad. <laughs> <laughs> and less fiber. Like, less fibery <laughs> shit, though. You know? <laughs> like, and then... uh we should get Dave's stomach noises after he does this as one of the sound effects on the board. Oh. <laughs> sounds like whales mating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that 20 minute scene in Star Trek 4. Right, yeah. stop, <laughs> stop trying to avoid you next week. <laughs> like then one whale crying in a dark corner of the ocean. <laughs> and I said, for Brad, this one was a little. Was, uh, Stop overanalyzing shit. <laughs> like what? <laughs> and just take a chance. Not every failure is going to result in unrivaled horror. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to substantiate. I'm dumbfounded. I'm Craig founded. Yeah, <laughs> You've now turned into a verb. Yes. <laughs> it's more of an adjective, but anyway. No, you tend to <laughs> you tend to overanalyze. Like what? <clears throat> um everything give me an example instead of just speaking in broad strokes come on every just, saturday morning after we record okay so i yep. question my performance aren't i the only one capable of doing that no but, i can but, question everything you do if you want <laughs> well that would be my next resolution for you <laughs> dave stop being so fucking passive aggressive because you are oh i'm very <laughs> passive aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> this shit's just getting real now yeah. <laughs> I don't overanalyze. I think when it comes to, at least related to this show, I, you you're, might be right. You're now. a very pragmatic person. I try to be. and But you, no, you take it a step too far. How do you, but give me an example. Anything, everything is, you You won't do anything risky. Like you, like even if we said, hey, let's post this to something. Let's try this. You're like, no, it's not going to work. 
right out of the gate without and it probably won't you you're mean, probably right okay but what about all the times where you guys are like what can i post this i'm like yes go ahead no no I'm not, like, I'm at not what just point is that, that but, mean- like, sir, but and i'm just saying certain things we'll never know if we don't try them so I think you're analyzing of them too much. I think what you're confusing as over analytical, and we're not going to do a whole therapy no, session no, here, no, but no. I think you've got to realize that I just want to keep us focused on what we need to improve here before we start thinking about out there. We tend to try to run before we crawl, and it that's a, that's a problem because it gets exciting. No, like, but at some point you have to stand up and try to run. You can't just crawl forever. Oh, yeah, but we have yet to master crawling without <laughs> falling on our face. No, I get it. So I think you're overanalyzing the question. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to chime in and say, yeah. Exhibit A. Yeah. <laughs> you can so, rewind 30 seconds with yeah. this, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, Dave, I think you should just stop drinking at work. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's, I know it's so easy when you're working. On. It's so easy. I'm like, who's gonna stop yeah. me right now? Well, Brett seems happier at six o'clock. I don't know why. Yeah. You know what's funny? I had a friend of mine I work with that lives in Texas, who sent me a message yes yesterday at work. It was like two thirty. He's like, "Hey, you drinking yet?" I was like, "Yes, but why are you asking? Yeah. Why do you leave with that?" There are people I work with who think I do nothing but drink beer and masturbate all day long <laughs> on the company dime. Now, unaware of the fact that I do try to maintain some sense of decorum, you have to. Yeah. yeah. But there's nothing stopping me. If I just wanted to rub one out, like, right after lunch, <laughs> nothing stopping me. They, they don't know. While you're typing an email to them. I have typed some one-handed emails. Yeah. Oh. I have done it. I occasionally use the wrong hand, so we're going to get the Lysol. Yeah. And that's not over analyst, analyzing no, it. That's, no. that's just being clean. <laughs> But then, but there was just my last one was for Brad. Is I just think he should grow his hair long and get a face tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Can't argue that. No. Can't, can't argue that. That's good shit, man. It's really step it up. I only yeah. I only had a handful. For, they're just those two for you guys. Uh, because honestly, I don't really think we need resolutions. No, I I don't think. Agreed. I think I think the the greatest hits episode highlighted just how good we are at this when we're hitting on all cylinders. Yeah. And, you know, you guys would be amazed. I know it was a two-hour-plus episode. You should see the shit that didn't make it. Oh, my God. We yeah. had so much stuff. And that's because the three of us, no matter how much we take shots at each other, this shit works. And that's yeah, just the bottom exactly. line. So <laughs> I'll raise one glass in the middle because we haven't done it to the new year yet. In the middle. To 2020. To our 2020. fourth calendar year. Yep. Insane how that is actually yep. happening. Exactly. Fourth year. We're going to have three years on the books by June. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the places will go. I feel like buying that Dr. Seuss book for the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays are fucking over. Gifts are done. <laughs> I'm going to need you to read it to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's written for five-year-olds. <laughs> it's Dr. Seuss. Jesus. <laughs> I'll have my two-year-old read it to you. You moron. Now, I don't know if we did anything for this, but I think we can riff on this anyway. One of the things Dave said that he wanted to do was not only do resolutions for each other, but also maybe for some notable people around the world. Yeah. Okay, last night, Craig and I did our annual death pool, our third annual death pool. And so our resolutions for those celebrities are to die. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And so there is a theme with me tonight. Yes, they should die. Yeah. Because I need to get on the board for once. I need points. Who? who, Do you guys mind sharing who some of the folks are that you, you picked this year? Oh, I have I have my whole list. Yeah, I got, I'll just riff off a few of them. I took uh, the, some of the wild cards I took. I, there's yeah, the no, obvious old people. Yeah, like I don't want to hear like Clint Eastwood and that bullshit. Right. No, yeah. I took Johnny Manziel. Okay. I think Johnny Manziel, because he's a drunk and a drug addict and he's losing everything in his life, he got denied an XFL tryout. Yeah, and they they hired he hate me one at one point. And even if, yeah. if you, even if you erase the past, they're not taking anybody of value. A guy like Johnny Manziel, love him or hate him, he draws attention. Yeah, he's he, like, he's an athlete too. Yeah, I mean, not... the guy did great work at Texas. Yeah. So I I think the fact that the XFL wants nothing to do with him just indicates what a cancer he really that is. That says a lot. And I think he's the kind of guy who will have a long lonely winter, pondering his life. And maybe pondering ending it. Yeah. And that's why I think it's big points for me, baby. Come on, Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> Sweep the leg, you right? <laughs> you... Yep. But I I just, I picked, I, the only young person I picked was some rap kid, 21 Savage. 
I don't know who he is either. But I hope he's, he's apparently I hope he's a 22 famous. Twenty-two ravaged he's, for he's your a, sake. He's a famous <laughs> rapper, and apparently, not many people like him. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> that bodes well. So, uh, but him, I pick like Louis Anderson. All Just right. because Louis Anderson's funny, that was under everybody's radar. But that guy's he's still alive. I yeah. thought he was dead years ago. Yeah, no, he's still alive. He's been he's been contemplating suicide for 30, 40 years, and he yeah. made a cartoon about it. Yeah, and he's. I mean, I just they don't think they make a rope thick enough. <laughs> but airplane wire. Yeah, <laughs> I, th- I took Louis C.K. Yep. I, I think that there's you know this is a guy who's trying to resurrect his career. We've showed him how. We did we it did on it. this show. Yep. We gave him an out, and he chose not to follow it. Yep. He's an arrogant prick, and now he's trying to resurrect his career in Europe, where the, you make even less sense over there. Where right? none yeah. of his hum- I was going to say, none of his humor is going to be relevant to those people. And, no. And unfortunately, I hate to say it for him, because I do think he's talented, but I can see that as a big point getter for me. So come on, Louie. <laughs> <laughs> it could be all over soon, brother. Yeah. <laughs> all the pain will just, just stop. go away. It'll just was, end. was anyone taken by someone else that you guys heard and were like, oh, shit, that's a good one? I don't know if there were any of shit moments. There were a bunch I wanted. The, yeah. Like, I, got ahead of me. I wanted that that rapper that snitched on everybody. Takashi 69. Takashi 69. Oh, oh, that, oh, that kid he's is dead. dead. Oh, motherfucker's dead. He's dead. dead. Probably he, since we started recording. Yeah. It's probably he's going to get it. That and then uh, there was a couple. Well, Alex Trebek, obviously. Yeah, that's a Yeah, he, does, has he already picked a date? Well, he's yeah. already rehearsed his, like, his final yeah. speech. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, this this doesn't bode well. Apparently, he's facing crippling depression too. So I'd well, say the yeah, end would, is near would, for I Alex. Would, I would expect that it's going to come with it. It's awful. Well, I think the chemo exacerbates it though, because yeah. he's tried to maintain a positive outlook with this, and he has. He's been great. The guy, I couldn't possibly give that guy any more credit. The fact that he's still doing his job, like going out there and doing his thing, and you know, and and with such dignity. That's the thing. Is this guy's just whole? He's not like um. Dick clocking out the other. <laughs> you know what I mean? The years when Ethan thought it was yeah. Happy Do Year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happy Drool Year. Yes. The fucking guy looked like he's fucking melting, standing on the fucking podium. <laughs> awful. The, you know what I mean? They're just the like, worst part was when he, they still let him do the countdown. Man, he was eight seconds behind man. the 10 second clock. Yeah. Well, did you hear that Brett Michaels fucked this up? He was playing a rooftop show in New York and he was like all cranking and then he just decided to do two encores. And he blew right through midnight, and he was supposed to be doing a countdown that they were filming. <laughs> so they had to have him at like at 12.08 do another countdown for the new year, really? even though it's already been eight minutes into the... Yeah, he's such a dummy. He walked into scenery. He played a song at the Tonys and walked into a stage that was going up. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't have. It didn't like come out of like his peripheral vision. He walked into it and then brained himself and fell back. <laughs> you probably could see it all that eyeliner. Oh, I, I should have pissed is, him. Is there yeah. anything protecting his brain? I'm dying to know what's under that fucking bandana on his head. It's uh. About is it just like a skull? Nine bald spots. I oh, think, it's I gotta think, be. I mean, he's admitted that he wears extensions, but I I think he spelled wig wrong. <laughs> yeah, that dude looks like a horse's ass. Yeah. And he's... I don't mean bad. I mean, it looks like a horse's ass. <laughs> it's got a mane. Yeah. The hair looks like it's spun from corn. It's ridiculous. Oh, he's an awful person, an awful band, and anybody who pays to go see that abortion of a concert. I was going to say, have you seen, like, the promo shots for yeah. that tour? That tour is who, the worst. It's, it, it's, who is it? It's Poison. Poison, Def Leppard, and Motley Crue. And Joan Jett opening. Oh, and Joan Jett. Like, all of them on stage <laughs> looks like Madame Tussauds, like, B-show that's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that open-air wax museum display like they do in the summer. <laughs> I want to know what the over-under is on Mick Mars just falling over on stage, because I was going to pick Mick Mars if we went another few rounds. Yep. I think he's going to die from touring. Think uh, so? They haven't toured in five years, and th- that was a, a driving reason for him then. Now, let's just assume that Mick Mars is what we think he is, and that is 75 Ash. years oh. old. Yeah. Okay, he's, let's just assume that he's he shouldn't like, be out there playing he's stadiums. He's like 68, I think, or 69. On he, record. He admits record. to being 68. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I think he's in his 70s easily. He's decrepit. It, all the band photos right now are him leaning on things because they're afraid of him falling over. <laughs> yeah. Gravity's going to win in the hot summer sun. Oh, I can't wait for him to die. He looks like someone just unloaded a glue gun into a pile of ash and molded it. <laughs> Close enough. 
I just love it's going to be like kickstart my heart, and then they're going to have to. Yeah. It's so funny that uh, what did uh, Vince Neil went somewhere, did so, he's like, oh, some fucking can't and yeah, and everybody's like, yeah, it's called lap band surgery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He claimed he had this weird thing that made his hand form a C, like he's an action figure and he couldn't get out of the grip. Oh, and he's yeah. blaming it on like carpal tunnel from holding a microphone all these years. Oh, my and God. I kid you not. And everybody on, he posted to like social on Instagram. No, he didn't. And that was the dumbest thing because everybody's like, hey, how's that lap band surgery going? <laughs> yeah. You uh, have been completely rerouting it. You know, just because he's a fat fuck. Yeah. He's a fat fuck. And so now he's got to get in shape. And then, yeah, he went and got this hand surgery and now he's lost all this weight. You know what I mean? Like, he lost weight immediately after the hand surgery. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, uh, yeah, so he's, but he's, they've got, I guess he's doing some shit. He's training, he's doing some stuff. That won't last. Oh, my God. He'll be fucking halfway through the tour. It doesn't matter. He fucking still couldn't sing the fucking songs. He, he couldn't, couldn't fucking handle sing not eating the rider of a club. What's going to happen when he's playing Fenway Park? Yeah. They're going to have so much food and booze backstage. He's going to be, uh, maybe he'll die too. Yeah. <laughs> This time we mean it to her, and yep. it's going to be two of them left. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. Yep. Does the tour have a name? It's uh, called the Stadium Tour. Oh, oh, oh. really? Yeah. Because none of them have seen the inside of a stadium in a long, <laughs> long time. Not without buying a ticket <laughs> for a better band. It. Yeah. <laughs> My God. What? I wonder what the, <laughs> the hair plugs and Botox for. <laughs> that would have been a good bright side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, the tour. What was your name? The tour. Joan Jett opening up singing "I Love Rock and Roll" and then three bands following her that don't play it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bunch of horse shit. If you Dead. buy a ticket for that, I've been offered a ticket for this. I'm like, go to hell. No. Like I'm I'm, not I dropped them as friends. I don't even want to know. I'm them. not driving to Boston and go fucking see that concert. I'm sorry, Def Leppard. When I was a kid, I liked them a lot. I was, you know, I was like, oh, great, you know, they're. I love this fucking like Paranoid was a fucking. I mean, uh, Paranoid was a great album. Pirate Mania, sorry, keep couldn't going. Even remember. See, keep keep listening yeah. conditions. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Pyromania was was the album, and I was like, I love this album, fucking blah blah blah. And then I got to go see him in concert. They were fucking horrendous. Of course they were. And then the drummer lost his arm. You saw them before that? Yeah. Wow, he got the, better after. He, and, yeah. Uh, really, you think so? I think well, yeah, he, because well, it's fucking he had to just programmed. Fucking nah, drums. he learned how to play with one side of his body. It's actually pretty impressive to watch. No, it is. I'll I'll give him the you fact to come out. Bastard. Nah, fuck that guy. They suck. <laughs> but they were awful. They sound awful. They sound like they're, everything's pre-recorded. Yeah. They, like you know, you see two guys at the microphones. It's just a wall of vocals. Yeah, you exactly. Know? And the guitars, you strum them, and they echo for days. Yeah. Dun -dun 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 yeah. -dun 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 that goes on. I saw them on a nostalgia tour with I think it was. Um, it, yeah, it was a them. nostalgia tour back in '96. I saw yeah. them on a nostalgia tour. <laughs> well, that was it. I think it was no, like two, 2006. Yeah. And it was them, Speedwagon, and maybe and Sticks. And that yep. was it. And, you know, honestly, they were already doing the nostalgia thing 13 years yeah, ago. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. What are you expecting here? Hey, we're going to play a new song, and you can hear 80,000 people boo. At least those that didn't die yeah. from the sunstroke anyway. <laughs> you think there's going to be 80,000 people listening? They saw yeah. half the tour already. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be ridiculous. Oh. All these people are going to be mad when they're driving home at 8 because the concert starts at 3 because they're going to be in bed by 9. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be mad. They need to be in bed at the same yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> Let me hear you sigh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know who's going to those shows? All those older women, they're going to dress like they're still 20, and they think that their gut sticking out will make it look like they've got big tits in their little halter top that don't quite work. <laughs> Like, like they can't lean a certain way. Yeah. Or there's an indecent exposure charge. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Nah, it's it's. I mean, I get people wanting to go to it because of this this nostalgia <sighs> yeah. thing, but it's too, it's going to be awful. Yes, of course. Like it I'm is. not looking at it. Like that's why a lot of these women will go. Like because that's I. It's happened to my wife. My wife's getting. Hey, you want to go see this concert from her friend? You know what I mean? And um, I'm like, go ahead, because I'm not going. If you want to <laughs> go, go ahead. But that's what it is. It's like them. They don't care. They're not going to go. They're just going to go there and pretend they can dance in the, in, the, in the crowd. You know what I mean? And jumping up and down to these songs and and, and enjoying it. Good for them. Me, I'm going to go there and be like, 
They fucking sound awful. <laughs> I'd rather be rubbing my face in poison ivy. Yeah, exactly. If I wanted to see tits hit kneecaps, I'd find Pornhub. They've got to have a channel <laughs> yeah. for it. Yep. Every tit in that place is going to look like a balloon, a water balloon that's about to snap, like <laughs> right at that moment. <laughs> and I bet the music is all these bands, too. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> None of undulation. There's a word for you. There's a ten dollar word for the show. All these yeah. women wearing leopard print that looks like giraffe skin because it's stretched out so much. <laughs> it looks like that documentary Planet Earth when they do the, those flying drone shots. <laughs> but it's it's just that I don't know. I find, I looked at it. I was like, ah, uh, why are they doing this? Do you know themselves? how they can make that tour worse? Add Aerosmith to it. Oh my, oh my god. god! Yeah, that would. I honestly, I'm really hoping every city's got really good. That's snipers. another one. That's that's uh, that would have been a good pick. Is fucking what's his name? Joe fucking uh, Joe Perry. Joe I Perry. I picked him last year. Yeah, he didn't choose to die. He's uh, he's got some issues. That's why they're not touring. That guy's that guy's just. I mean, those guys are fucking. They old. Actually, are. Yeah. They're playing in Vegas. Are they? Yeah, yeah, they're doing a residency. Oh, that's right? right. They're doing a residency thing. That's right. They're not touring though. No, they're not touring. They're just going out, they're like living out there. Well, yeah. that's just it though. So yeah, you're not on a tour bus, but you're in the city that could age you quicker than anybody. That's fair. So I'm not sure Vegas is the best place for two recovering drug addicts. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> I don't know, but what if I if they matter? die too? That's funny. Recovering. <laughs> <laughs> Should they always be addicts? <laughs> My heart goes out to them. <laughs> Those guys are fucking doing drugs right now. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I, I'm going to feel bad for two or three people I know that would give a shit if Aerosmith fell off the face of the fucking earth. Janie's <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a gun. Good. Aim it elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Reload it. Try again. Reload it. Aim it at Steven. <laughs> that would be a good place to start. Oh, uh, shit. Wah, bah, bah, da, do, bah, bah. <laughs> Fucking shitbag, you no talent hack. They all went to like music school, too. That was a crazy thing. Up in Boston, right? Yeah. They're all from the Bronx. They all end up in Boston. And they, they all become like like minded people. They play three notes. And they have rearranged those three notes successfully for the last 45 40, yeah. years. Yep. Fuck Aerosmith and all the bands that it's. That's that, what I love when people like, they got such a distinct sound. It's like, yeah, because they're playing the same four chords. <laughs> It's distinctly familiar. Distinctly familiar. <laughs> they just fucking keep playing the same chords in different arrangements. I remember I mean, that's they did that how blues it, album. all music is, but I mean, they just keep, it's. They it, did that blues album, remember? It was hon honking on Bobo or something? Yeah. They did that blues album, and it was like, wow, you want to see how crappy music can get in a slower key? <laughs> <laughs> They're just an awful band, and yeah. I, hope, I, I want them to die now, too. Let's slow it down so you can appreciate the suck a little more. <laughs> <laughs> you had four notes. Yeah. Exactly. It's not like one job. You had four notes, Joe. You could have strummed one a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Suck. What's worse than Aerosmith that the guy's ripping them off. I know we're spent 10 minutes on it. I give a shit. Fuck Aerosmith. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> They're laughing at me, and this makes me nervous. That's excellent. Oh, no, man. you just got so angry in such yeah, a short did. amount of time. I get irrationally fucking, angry. That's from a, zero to 60 in like a fucking <laughs> half a second. It's just been building since we brought yeah. up the stadium tour. Yeah. Like, if we weren't sitting, you would have stormed out of the room. Like, I could see that reaction on your face. Yeah. I would have thrown this table if I owned it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I stole this from my parents. You can flip it. You <laughs> <laughs> so the whole point of the segment, though, was we, we got into the death pool and then we got into the stadium tour, which might as well be the death pool. Yeah. Um, anything else about the death pool that you want to throw out? Were there any surprises? No, nah, I mean, just uh, the draft is always a good time to me. That's the best part is just going to the draft and hanging out with everybody. And We're going to get Pete people the leaving the bar because <laughs> yes. they realize what's really? happening. There was a birthday oh. party right behind our table. There was a birthday party. People came in. There, the, it was... It's two, there's a couple sitting there. We walked in, and the kid's like, uh, what do you guys... Well, Pete, the commissioner, he goes, <laughs> Ho hope you're going to sense of humor, he says to the kid. <laughs> now, how old's the kid? The kid was probably at about 20, like late 20s. Okay, all right. So right? we're talking like I would say kids. late 20s, early 30s. He was 30s. late 20s, and he brought his mom. Right. And we're, it, we're, we're at a bar, so he's late 20s. His mom's going to be 60s. Yeah, and she's okay. coming in. It's her birthday. Yeah. So they're bring. She's coming Did in. Did she get with, drafted? <laughs> oh, so her. That would have been the best. 
<laughs> so so the I'm taking coming. I'm taking Franny over there in the corner. Yeah. So it was interesting just fun. choice of names. Yeah, yeah, I guess I looked at Craig as I said it. That was a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> but they sat down, and we were amping up for the draft. And now, now everybody's starting to talk about their picks. <laughs> like we haven't gotten the. We're not drafting yet, but we're talking. And there's a big TV screen. That it's not not not. We're not using a board like your typical like fantasy football. It's draft. not like a dry erase board. It's or anything. on a fucking sixty-five inch television <laughs> screen. <laughs> <laughs> with the name. With the name. <laughs> Third annual Jack Kravorkian Death Pool. No. <laughs> There's a trophy with Craig's name on it. With my name on it. It's a giant trophy with a coffin on it. That's excellent. <laughs> and I think the best part was when she walked out, she goes, I don't know if I should wish you good luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So she had a little bit of a sense of humor. Oh, she got she, it, but no. they weren't going to hang. No, they, they weren't. They, they opted to leave. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah. People stopped. Wait, did they stay at all? No, they left before. Like, they were there. They had a drink. And then we were all talking about the, our picks and who you were going to pick. It wasn't the and, picks that threw her. I think it then, was the fact that the strategy discussions that were going well, on. So, yeah. I'm going young this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we're all you're secretly gonna, hoping for a bus crash you're that'll be, kill your appetite man. and then I was saying that I was talking shit telling everybody they'd have to drop an atomic bomb on LA for anybody to catch up <laughs> right now <laughs> I imagine if these were good church going folks yeah that just might be a little off putting oh, okay. yeah so they they up and left um, the best was the owner of the bar who the first year we did it he left he left before we even started. Really? He allowed us to do it, but he's like, I'm not sticking around for this. Okay. Last year, he stayed for some of it, and then he left. This year- Did he participate? He, I said, I looked right at him and said, you'll be playing next year. Because this year, he's taught, he started discussing strategy. Oh, he got, like, he got and, sucked and in. And he's getting sucked in. Somebody picked something. And I actually heard him say, oh, I wouldn't have gone that route. Yeah. And yeah. One, one other guy said, oh, wow, you took him early. Yeah. <laughs> Like you're picking a kicker in the third round. Yeah. <laughs> it was Actually, weird. a kicker makes sense. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> it was hilarious. Good times. Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, uh, uh, yeah, excellent. but that was it. I mean. So do we have any resolutions for celebrities? Just one each. Let's just think off the top of our heads. What celebrities we'd like to see change? If you wrote it down, even better. I'd like to tell Kanye West that you're not dead enough either. <laughs> I, th I think I need you to be better at deading. <laughs> I was just going to tell Michael J. St Fox, <laughs> not be scared. Stop shaking, dude. There's nothing happening. <laughs> <laughs> you ever want to no, go up to him, hey, what's shaking? <laughs> you need a sweater? <laughs> Shivering, dude. You need a sweater? <laughs> nah. I would give him milk and ice cream and just wait for the magic. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, really, I didn't have anything from Michael J. Fox. My, my one thing was uh, Jason Momoa. Stop making shitty movies so at least I can enjoy them while I'm trying to make my wife horny. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> I didn't realize Aquaman was just going to get her wet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 introspective art like i would love to see a painting of him just standing over a body surrounded by pills <laughs> and it's actually a mirror yeah that would have been another good pick yep damn it he's a fucking nutcase that oh, he's guy. out of his mind he is out of his fucking mind did you ever did you see him on the um I, on uh riding in cars with you know, uh, comedians and cars getting coffee with Seinfeld. Seinfeld? No. no, he's too frantic for me. I won't watch him. He is just, he's still doing his silly shtick. Like when he pulled up, he doesn't come out of the door. He actually climbs over the fence around this house. <laughs> like comes over the stone wall, comes over the top of it, jumps. Yeah. Still doing his silly out of his mind thing. Then he gets in the car and he has some serious conversation. But then he starts doing his weird shit. Like they're in the restaurant and the waitress comes over and he's like, no, that's not your name. You don't have a name. Like you know what I mean? Like what? doing his weird. What? Like, you are, yeah. The, the name is what society has given to you, and blah, blah, blah. this weird fucking shit. He tries to be so deep and fucking. He's fucking nuts. He's he's the old white version of Jaden Smith. Yeah, he's yeah yeah. 
Exactly. That's a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. Wackos. Yeah. Wackos. Yep. I hope yep. we should whisper to him now. Hey, grab a gun. Yeah. <laughs> do what you got to do in living color. In li- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just call this one Brad wishes death on all? Yeah. <laughs> Brad hates everyone. It's a new year. New it is. I was gonna say, that could be almost every episode we've done. Most of the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't fight that. <laughs> no. Nobody asked me to be on the show because of my bright and cheery disposition. <laughs> just stop acting surprised. <laughs> all right. Yeah. You're definitely not the sunshine guy from the Jimmy Dean sausage commercials. <laughs> Those commercials are so optimistic, too. Guys, <laughs> start your morning the bright way. This is the only way you should be waking up. Yeah. Pouring eggs into this pre-filled bowl, <laughs> shoving that shit in your microwave and acting like that isn't clogging your carotid artery. It's so nasty. It's so nasty. But you know the fucking little Jimmy Dean fucking sausage Sausages. biscuits that you microwave? Oh, they're oh, delicious. No. They're delicious. Yeah, of course they're delicious. Delicious. <laughs> of course they are. Yeah, the biscuit and so I, they're fuck. My wife bought them like gross. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not eating that fucking shit. Threw one in the microwave one day. Just I was like, fucking stop and threw it. Fucking ate like six of them. <laughs> Do you remember that <laughs> conversation the other night, Dave? Dave, I, I'd like to roll back. Did, does this machine go back to the other night when you're a hypocrite? Yeah. He comes into our, my house and he goes, you know, I really don't like processed food. I don't. Yep. And me and Dave buckled over with laughter as much as our bodies would allow us to buckle. <laughs> I've never heard anything. But the back of your car is like literally going to survive a war. <laughs> it is so protected and preservative. And you're going to tell me that you don't like processed food. No, when I mean, what I mean by processed food is I don't like like the frozen, like frozen pizzas, uh, like chicken patties, chicken nuggets, sausage all that biscuits shit. that are perfect in a microwave no, in fifteen seconds. Those not I, processed at all. No, th- I know those are processed, but for some reason I like. That's why immediately I didn't want to eat it. I was like, "That's gross," you know. But like I said, there's certain things are, are they're okay, but I don't like fish sticks, any of that shit. All fucking set. Gross, fish. fucking gross. I would fucking rather just eat fucking grass. You know what else is gross? Your colon. I'm, so, I'm, I'm looking at him saying this stuff, and all I see is him sitting on the couch, pouring a box of Fruit Loops on a gallon of ice cream and eating it with a shovel. Literally trying to fling chocolate from his dick into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about how a breakfast biscuit's gross. Yeah. I ate about 700 Kit Kats today. <laughs> You talked about letting cereal sit long enough so it turned into jello. Yeah. Do you know why they individually wrap the fun size one? Because when you open ten in a row, they're hoping that the pile of shame in front of you <laughs> will indicate, hey, maybe this is too much. But no, not Craig. No. It's like, it's like fucking check marks. Like you're like another kill. Like <laughs> Yeah, I tell you to eat better, but no. It won't do any <laughs> good. Just don't. All right, well, you know what? we got to get into something for this week. But what's amazing is the world's been kind of boring. Other than Trump making friends in Iran, there really hasn't been a whole <laughs> lot of whole lot of news going on and nothing that we want to talk about much anyway. Yeah. So I recommend uh, that we go to Old Faithful. And I think we go to the hat. Yep. And notice I'm not saying the skull this week. I'm actually saying the hat. And that's because we're using Dave's new Elmer Fudd hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we got some topics, some headlines, some things related to the the week that was. I say, what what better way to start off the year than to go back to what helped define what we are? Totally yes. agree. Exactly. All right, totally so, agree. Craig, since it's your show, Dave, lead off. <laughs> 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 All, All right, right, let's see. Craig, could you grab me one of the Wachusets? Thank you. Ooh, get him a Wachuset. While you're over there, why don't you think about <laughs> an ugly celebrity that you find attractive? Ooh, like okay, but define ugly. Like the world thinks they're ugly. I, th- I they're, think they're I'm generally going with like general consensus. Yeah, yeah. So uh, while you guys are thinking, as I wrote this down earlier, Rayanne was next to me, and she's like, "Oh, that's a good one." I said, "Why? Do you have anyone?" She goes, "I do." I asked her who. She said, "Adam Sandler." Ah, uh, really? Said, Why? She goes, "I like his sense of humor." So it's his it's his personality and his upfrontness because that's I've noticed this. When you when you're watching a show, you may not initially be attracted to 
whoever the character is in the show. And as you watch it week to week, you slowly become more and more attracted to this person because they're constantly presented to you. You know what I mean? They're constantly put in your face. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, I no, I'm, I'm actually curious to see who you who you mentioned. I th- you know, as you're saying that, I'm thinking the conversation we had about Patricia Heaton. That who I was going to say yeah. is Patricia Heaton. Like to me, was she really the one you were going to say? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. No. She's not. She's not ugly. Oh, she I, is. You think oh, so? Brad hates her for I different think, reasons. I think but. no, but I think I, she's a, uh, even the, every character she's ever portrayed, at least as we know her, she's either been a bitchy overbearing wife yep. to Ray Romano or a piece of white trash on the middle. Yep. So she hasn't really had a chance to appear otherwise. To yeah. me, she's an ugly person. See, uh, to me, I look at, I, I don't think she's ugly. I look at her as just a very plain, you know, average, she's, run-of-the-mill, yeah. whatever. You know if what you I mean? saw her, if she and, was not famous, you wouldn't give her a second look anywhere. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't look at it like, oh my God, that hideous bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? But she looks like she's got a giant meat triangle, though, doesn't she? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> but uh, but for some reason, I found it. I was like wicked attracted to her through the whole time on uh, what do you call it? Raymond. On uh, Raymond, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like, but there's, I mean, there's countless Craig, others. Craig, how's your relationship with your mother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting back and watching this. <laughs> Give me none of that fucking Freud shit. <laughs> Spell Freud. <laughs> Spell Oedipus. No. <laughs> He's got pissed out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I knew who you were talking about. Now you don't have to make me spell it. <laughs> I thought Oedipus Rex was in Jurassic Park. <laughs> no, Oedipus Rex. He was that guy that did the sports segment in MTV in the 90s, right? <laughs> Right after Jesse Camp. <laughs> He's dead, right? I don't, is he? I hope. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I just want everybody to die. So, um, <laughs> Dave, who's your ugly celebrity? It took me a while. I thought of this. It, Did it really? It, yeah, it took me a while. Uh, I, I ended up with, with uh, Lady Gaga. She is not a good-looking person. Nope. No. She's... But she takes her vitamins. Yeah. She's got a good body. Oh, no, she's a I, definite butterface. I explained this to uh, See, I like, I called it a, a Cleveland Brown. And Ryan looked at me, she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> she, she, so Ryan's like, what do you mean? I said, ugly helmet, great jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the slow clap? Get the slow clap in there. Yeah. <laughs> Get the applause. Play the applause. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That is a great comment. Right that there. is a phenomenal <laughs> comment. Um, I like that a lot. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot like that, but like I said, I was just, for some reason there was this girl that worked at the Liga store near us, and I was like, <laughs> look, we get attracted to her. She was fucking gross looking. <laughs> she was ugly as fucking sin, but for some reason I was just like, I'm a tr- oddly attracted to her. Is she like got a bumping body me. though, huh? She got like a bumping body on that. Uh, it was nothing like um. Did she look like she would fuck you there? Yeah, that yeah, might yeah, have been man. it. <laughs> that might have been it. There is a lot of that in the consideration. Like, if you could yeah. see somebody like, oh, okay, if I could stop time and nobody would ever find out, and I'm yeah. guaranteed <laughs> that this will never, ever leave this room, I'd fuck that girl stupid. Right? Yeah. But, uh, every guy has had this conversation. Yeah. There's only two types of people in the world. Those who've had that conversation are liars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've all done it, as usually on an elevator. Yep. And while the girl's sitting there in her own head going, oh my God, that's the rapist I've been warned about. (laughs) But yeah, uh, I think we've done it. Mine is a weird one because she used to be really cute. And then she discovered donuts. And that would be uh, Kelly Clarkson. Oh, yeah. She was really pretty. She was pretty talented. And she's still talented. Oh, no, incredibly talented. But I mean, it looks like she's got the same body and it's just being enveloped by another one. (laughs) Look at the size of her head. It didn't grow in proportion with the amount that her waist did. No, yeah. And she still insists on wearing bikinis. And hey, you want no body shaming here? Go, f- good for you. She looks like a balloon animal. She <laughs> does. I actually thought when she performed at Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade that they got the camera up in the air. Yeah. And were, she looks like her ears are swallowing her head. Oh, my. And her bikini that she still insists on wearing, girl power. 
uh, is literally enveloping. Her, her pussy is just swallowing fabric unlike anything I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> her bikini looks like a string around a Christmas ham. <laughs> <laughs> You ever try to cut something with, like, floss? <laughs> That's basically what she looks like wearing this bikini. But, hey, girl power. <laughs> That's it. Go for it. But something about her, though, that I, I still remember the good old days. I can, yeah. I, see, that's funny because I, when I wrote this down, I was thinking there's always those those celebrities that you see in a certain movie, a role that they're not supposed to be attractive, but for yeah. some reason they are. Yeah. Whatever it is, you know, but like I was Zool. thinking more. And <laughs> Dude, Sigourney yeah. Weaver's yeah. a perfect example. No, yeah. Zool. Oh. <laughs> oh, the flat top? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. She looked like white Grace That Jones. was Gozer. That was Gozer. You're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah, I'm Go- so sorry. Yeah. That's oh, all right. Shame on me. Yeah. <laughs> but Sigourney Weaver in, in Aliens. Either one. Yeah. Yep. It just it, it, one of those things that it, she's not an ugly woman. No, but they all, made her but, but, more yeah. unattra- or plain looking in those movies, and they yeah, and they made and she was more, um, she wasn't she was more like um, masculine, not masculine, masculine, but she was not she was feminine. An, she was an alpha on a ship of betas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. So that kind of put her in that position because it wasn't. I don't want to say masculine. She wasn't like they weren't trying to make her into a man, but th- she was the alpha on that ship. Yeah. You know, um, she was in charge, even though she wasn't. Yeah. You know, so that kind of gave you that she was empowered. Yeah. You know, um, which not not that that doesn't make people attractive, but they kind of, it kind of took it out of I don't know I don't know I, I what I'm exactly trying to say it's, it's when I was in middle school with my first girlfriend, I actually <laughs> got into an argument with her because I had a dream that I was having sex with Jennifer Capriati, former tennis player. Oh my god! If, holy shit! That name! Oh my god! And uh, yeah, that's a throwback, huh? And she was the most Italian-looking girl. She looked yeah, like she, she stunk of sausage and pepper, <laughs> just reeked of it. <laughs> and I remember my, oh my girlfriend god. at the time, Brooke, being so angry with me because I was attracted to that. Like it's one of the few judgmental things she ever said to me because she's yeah. such a nice person. And she actually said, "I can't believe you're attracted to me." And that didn't even use her. Use the word that. <laughs> I'll never forget in the ninth grade, the first dating terror I ever had <laughs> was that I told her about a dream that yeah. I did not control about a tennis player I didn't want, and yet it ne- because of that I wanted her more. Jennifer, and so yeah. I'm starting to think about boning tennis players <laughs> with nice guinea val ending last names. She's very is... square face. I'm, I just looked it up. And I'm oh, she's hideous. At... She's not hideous, but she's not. Well, that's like that girl, the, and they made her look hideous in uh, Game of Thrones, the wildling woman that was helping Bran. Asha. Yeah, she was in the Mandalorian, by the way. She's in. The, she was in the Mandalorian. She was also in. Uh, what else was she in? Not to. I, oh, she was in an episode of Black Mirror that I, I watched the other that. day. Um, and but she looked she was like dressed a disheveled up. mess in Game of Thrones. Yeah, she looked. Didn't everybody? Y- yeah, but no, <laughs> no, but but she's supposed to be like a wild, like a wildling. So she was like dirty. Her hair was just like ratty and fucked up. And real closed. subtle name. Then. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> for some reason, even when she looked like that, I still thought she was pretty. Yeah, and then you see her. She, there's something about her. She's not a glamour model person. She's there's just something about her. She's really pretty. Just it's a she looks different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I always like those movies in the '90s where they basically dress up the nerdy girl and make her the belle of the ball. Yeah, and everybody's like, "Wow, I really am in love with you because you look prettier." Yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. the whole ugly duckling thing. Yeah, but you can tell they take these really hot chicks. It was Rachel something or other. Rachel Lee Cook. That was it, and she's and all Freddie that. Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah, that's right. But oh I mean, yeah, you could yeah. tell from the instant she was artsy fartsy <laughs> and she had her hair tied back. She was two flicks of the nipple away from being an from, absolute fucking yeah, hot <laughs> exactly. Two yeah. flicks, flicks of the <laughs> nipple. <laughs> Just make her cold. She looks better. That's it. Everybody. <laughs> I mean, the set of Friends was actually done in a warehouse. <laughs> anyway. All right. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, anybody else to add to that? I don't think we could build on the Patricia Heat and Sigourney Weaver Jennifer <laughs> Capriati trio. I can't wait to fall asleep tonight. I can't wait to Jesus. not play this for my wife. <laughs> right. I'm going to pick one here. Yeah. Aliens that sound like Italian guys from Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to. 
what can people do to improve winter? And this kind of tied into the whole idea of the holidays, which is something I kind of wanted to talk about in the um, my weekend review, and I never got to it. It's this time of year is miserable. Yeah. Okay. Once we took our tree down today, all our lights came down today, and suddenly the whole neighborhood's just dim, and it's a rainy, shitty day up here. And I'm like, wow, this is what we've got for the next three fucking months. Yep. What can we do to improve winter? Move to Arizona. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> fucking leave. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if I have an answer, but I thought, I, knowing you two, because you've lived up here longer and you've done the New England thing a lot longer than I have, what what, what would you do now? Yep. I mean, from New York. The weather's surprisingly different, though. Believe no, me. it's not it, it really. Actually, Surrounded by ocean water that never freezes. Well, it'll, yeah, it'll, that'll affect yeah, that's true too. Also, I lived in both places and you haven't, so you kind of have to go with me on this. One. Yeah, all right, I'll agree. <laughs> if, if well, I'm just thinking about it in a sense that it's not that far away, and it's not, you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, I guess no, I guess you're right. I didn't think about it like that. You are surrounded, fucking. It was. Well, I mean, we are too, but it's different. Though. Just trust me on this one. It's, yeah, it's it's got to be a good ten degrees warmer there on on average. Yeah, a lot of times that we're getting snow, they're getting rain. Yeah, but we we catch a lot of cold air that comes down from like upstate New York, Vermont, Canada. That yeah, they don't catch that right. they don't get down there. The there. Yeah, I'm that's not true. even talking weather. I mean, the weather's a big part of it. Weather's well, I'm a kind huge of thing, just like... thinking about the whole empty, dark. There's nothing to look forward to. There, now. there isn't. You're right. Like in, in you no. know, we're, we we were watching the the football playoffs, the NFL football playoffs before we started, and there's only like eight football games left in the season. And then we're, there's just fucking sports darkness, unless you're a basketball fan. Yeah. But you're yeah. right. It's just, there's nothing. And for me, you mentioned the weather. It's like cold and rainy. I would rather just fucking snow. Yeah. I, no, I, I hate, agree 100%. I hate when it's in like the 30s and raining. I, I, cold I agree rain 100%. is awful. I'd rather it's just snow. It's just 100%. that raw feeling. That's I what I mean. It's just you, awful. Yeah, I mean, I, even though we work at home. Doesn't matter. I, I hate going outside. I know. I got to get the mail and yeah. shit. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> My left hand gets cold yeah. for a few seconds. It's bullshit. Yep. Chris yeah, happy because he can't feel his left hand. So yeah, it's exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I mean, make the winter better. We've we've talked about this before. Like, if if you push Christmas back, yeah, yeah, that the, changes yep, that things. Was, Actually, yeah, can Brad's, I address this? Yeah, I think you should. I, I, that's why I brought yeah. up because I knew I, I knew you wanted to. A couple years ago for the Thanksgiving episode, our very first Thanksgiving episode, I did this whole shtick from my old blog from like a decade ago. Yeah, from a long time ago. Long ass time ago. It was 2007 when I wrote it. And yeah. Uh, it basically, or nine. It was 2009. But either way, it's done a long time ago. And I rearranged the holidays. And you can find that episode in the archives. I'm not going to go through the whole thing now. But moving Christmas to February was one of the big ideas. And this is a documented thing. It's not like you said you just... You had a, you showed us a link to it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the blog there. has since it's been pulled. There. Yeah, well, not anymore. The blog since been pulled down, but I do have a printed version of it somewhere. Yeah, Mel Melissa was nice enough to print my blogs into a book. She had it hardbound. Yeah, and it was pretty fun. You know, the yeah, blog no, was fun cool. for a while. So much in the same way, this is what we do now. Yeah, it's what I did then, and it was a lot of fun. But I wrote this rearranging the holidays thing, and I never said I invented the idea, but just recently somebody in my work Slack chat shared a link with me yep. from 2014 on the New York Post. And it was almost a word-for-word, tone-for-tone lift. It was fucking pretty much verbatim, that section of it. Yeah, yeah. it's like they had an intern go in and change some words. Yeah. yeah you know, like those auto-correctors and things like that. They went in and changed just enough of the verbs. It was it like every fucking like, composition I had to do in school. <laughs> 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 I just went to the encyclopedia and wrote everything down just by changing words. You know, <laughs> like just change a few words here and there, remove a sentence. Yeah. He stuck, took off his jeans. Dungarees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His dungarees. He took off. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I I was floored by this. It's, it's to the point where I actually wrote the guy. Did you write him? I did. And Good. I don't even know if he works at the Post anymore. Chances Fuck are, if he's, if he's lifting from blogs, five-year-old blogs at the time, then he's probably not still there. No. But I had to reach out. I have not heard back as of yet. I wrote him last week, though, because I was floored. Because I told you. I said you should definitely fucking write and call this guy out. My buddy at work who knew about the segment was like, dude, you did this. Yeah. And it, it, I wouldn't care if it was just the idea of moving Christmas, but the things he said. The, that was the it thing. Was everything. Yeah. It It would have been different if he had taken it as an idea 
and said, hey, I think that, you know, you could do it like this or do it and kind of took the idea and ran with it. He fucking copied and pasted what you said <laughs> and just changed well, a couple well, like of things. Said, you're not you're not the first or only person that's had this thought. Of course not. Yeah. Right. But you put it into your own words and post it out there. And from what I saw, it was all it was it like was, Craig said. It was, it was fucking, the same train of thought throughout. Actually, yeah. totally. What's weird is it actually matched the way I read it. Yeah, on the air more than anything. <clears throat> yeah, you know, it was weird how that all worked out. But basically, I wrote him. His name's Tim Donnelly, and he's a fucking hack. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Tim Donnelly. Yeah, uh, I hope you're enjoying your new job in Dubuque. <laughs> <laughs> I, heard, I heard there was a fender bender last night. You best get out there. <laughs> well. What's going on on the Terre Haute Tribune tonight? <laughs> the Terre Haute Tribune. <laughs> Len tariffs. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so uh, yeah, I think moving Christmas would do that, though. Uh, I, I, it would, yeah. Uh, give us, like, seriously, if we had two months, like we do have two months leading up to December 25th, I think we do New Year's Day forward, Christmas lights go up, tree goes up, you do two months of Christmas. I think that would be fantastic. Yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, there's things, it's just, around here, it does suck. I mean, it's not like fucking Alaska, but th- those people deal with that shit year-round, so they know what That's they're the... in for. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Most of Alaska's criminals anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're all hiding up there. Everybody. Yeah, they just fucking It's leave. so funny. You ever watch, like, the cop show? They're like, all right, we're going to go knock on this guy's door. They're like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> they call a SWAT team. It, yeah, it's just Jim from down the street. It's Jim, but they're fucking terrified because they're like, "This motherfucker's gonna shoot yeah. us." Yeah, they like, killed our, a bear this morning. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a warrant for Poot's arrest, and they got to fly in on a Cessna Poot. they yeah. borrowed from the guy that runs the grocery store in town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> These guys are fucking crazy up there. Yep. Is Marjorie here? You mean big tits go bounce bounce? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to see poison. She's going <laughs> my, my wife stands with a handle. <laughs> Up there, oh, Def Leppard is just the tribal leader's name. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the legend of the percussionist with one arm. <laughs> Oh, God. We shall now pour sugar on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Narwhal is just the horny guy of the tribe. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Giggity. A lot of blubber, <laughs> big bone. <laughs> A lot of blubber. Uh, anywho. Anywho. Uh, so that's how we'd improve winter. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to happen because you need the church to do that. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like the church is not going to move Jesus's birthday. It's, it moves Easter every year. That's yeah, true. right. Yeah, arguably exactly. a more important day. That's in the grand scheme of like writing an entire second I, half acor- of the book. According to the church, Easter's more important than Christmas. I know. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because it, the, like and that's why we say spend months upon months with Easter preparation. Yeah, because <laughs> they made it boring. <laughs> You know what I mean? A week before, you go mash some dirt in your fucking head. <laughs> then, you know what I mean? Then you got to go to church in the morning, and then fucking eggs and rabbits. <laughs> what the fuck? And the, just when you're actually enjoying yourself, because it might be spring. Yeah. It might, it might be June, given the amount of different days that Easter's been on. But, you know, they're, they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, don't forget that Christ died for your sins. So just when you really get into the yeah. Heart, yeah, I got a chocolate bunny with candy eyes. Christ died for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, fuck you, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you. I think that's, aside from that, the, the, the Jesus dying for eggs shit, um, <laughs> I think that's part of the problem with winter, though, is spring is so fluid with the weather. Yeah. There's no definitive time where, like, oh, it gets warm this day. Yeah. You know, other parts of the country, like our, our friends Matt and Kayla live down in Texas, they, like winter's over tomorrow. Yeah. And it's back to 70, you know, but yeah. around here, it could be, you go through, March is always the most miserable month. Yeah, cause, well, back, they're like, winter was Tuesday, it was fucking yeah. 59. <laughs> 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 but like, it, it, you get to that time of year, like, you can't, around here, you can't look forward to April. Because April can start off with a fucking snowstorm. Two days later, it can be 65 degrees, and you get your windows yeah. down in your car, 
two days after that, you're fucking wearing your winter coat again. So it's just like, it's a big tease, and like nobody can handle that much blue balls. Yeah, and we went through that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We went through that. Was it last year or the year before? Where the, I remember the week probably was like in the 40s, and then three days later, it was negative fucking 18 yeah. at night. And I think it got down to like negative 24 was, or something. Yeah, it was obnoxious. It was obnoxious because I remember that night I actually went outside because I wanted to fucking actually like. Did you throw see the hot, like hot water like. in the air? No, I just oh. wanted to see. What, I was actually at Mike's house. I was leaving Mike's house and I sat on the stairs for a few minutes. To see, while my truck warmed up, because I just wanted to see what it was like to be that cold. Just stand up like, with seven hemorrhoids. Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> it was fucking insane. Yeah, how cold that is. You know what I mean? It's it's nuts. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like why? But then it was like that. Then the next day it was like minus sixteen. Then it was in the twenties, and then back to forties. Yeah. So You're everybody's about a sixty sick. degree swing in three days. Yeah. That's what I mean. It was like, yeah, exactly. There's so much back and forth where you can't just look forward to, all right, winter ends and starts to get spring. There's, yeah, there's too it much. It just doesn't happen. Yeah. It so I I don't I don't know what to make what to do to make winter better. I was thinking more songs. Uh, but, there more you songs. Go. Uh, see, I'm already resolving myself. <laughs> <laughs> Acoustic guitars, like hanging out with friends. Yep. I think the show needs more love too. Or at All least right. this topic. Pick another subject. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Craig, you're I up. I got one. <laughs> All right. Grossest thing you've ever seen a person do. Yeah. I've got one. All right. What do you got? I was in Atlantic City, and I saw a giant homeless woman pissing on the boardwalk while screaming at a cop that he was violating her rights. <laughs> <laughs> And it was right outside the Stardust. Really? <laughs> Not the Stardust. What was it? Uh, what, one of the other shitty old hotels. Yeah. If, if there was an circus, old Vegas. Circus Circus or something it, like well, that. It was like oh, what old Vegas is, but in yeah. Atlantic City. And this woman was right outside the door. And security had already escorted her out repeatedly. And they were standing there. And then cops came by. And she's sitting. And she hasn't stopped pissing. She's still <laughs> squatting and pissing. Giant bush out for the world to see. And she's pointing at cops, screaming at them because they're in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I was with Melissa. We never did things. We were always so broke, but we got comped on a, like a midweek night. Yeah. And so we went down. We had a good time in Atlantic City. And I looked at her and I said, aren't you glad we go places? <laughs> <laughs> That's really fucked up. I'm like struggling right now. All right. So for me. No, it, it was because there's I, a lot. I, I saw the immediate aftermath of what a person had done. So let me explain. This was a couple years ago. It was before Christmas. We were going Christmas shopping, but we used to take the the older kids. We used to go to Benny's to let them pick out their pre- like what they wanted to buy for like the grandparents and stuff like that. But Benny's had closed, so we didn't have any other. I was like, we're not going to Walmart. Yeah, like, I'm not going to subject my kids to that. Like they're not <laughs> old enough yet. Yeah. <laughs> So my brain is said, let's go to Job Lot, which yeah. is a smaller version of we're, Walmart. Yeah, it's a small version of like overstocked yeah, items, it's, it's discount a, items. It's, and... a, it's like it's about the size of a large CVS. Yeah, yeah, but it's crammed with more shit that's yeah. cheaper. And we're walking through. It's Ryan and I and and the two older kids because Aria wasn't born yet. And we're walking around and we turn the corner th- down an aisle, and there is a pile and a streak of human shit down the aisle. On the old vinyl floors. Like someone stepped in it, dragged it down the 30-foot aisle, and then just left the store. So you were there right after me? Right. <laughs> I'm just imagining Craig scooting like a dog. <laughs> there was no scooting. Like someone stopped and dropped it, and then someone else stepped in it and walked down the aisle. Uh, uh. And it was, it was so... It was fresh enough where the employees hadn't seen it yet. And there were enough of them in the store that every five minutes or so, someone would, be, would would have been by. Yeah. So it had just happened before we had gotten there. Yeah. Uh, yep. And I have not been back since. Awful. We didn't buy anything. I'm like, we're leaving right now. <laughs> I, Grab the kids. Nothing in this store can be touched. Put it down. We're leaving. Ooh. It was awful. That's, yeah. It's funny that you mentioned CVS. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had gone, like, you know... Going to the doctors, I, I, was, I had a cold, like, you know what I mean? So, so I went to go get some antibiotics, so I'm at, um, 
standing in line at CVS at the counter to go hand in my uh, prescription so I could get something. There's an old man in front of me in line. Now, he literally just shakes his leg and a turd falls No, down. no. And then he approaches the counter and just goes. Wait, nothing happened? Like, didn't get. I'm like, dude, there's a shit right there. Come there's on. There's a shit there. Like. <laughs> oh, my God. I, How did it not get mashed up? This is something I've always wondered. What do you mean? Like, when you shit your pants, it's usually pressing against some fabric. He must have been fucking going either commando or probably wearing boxer shorts. Or something. I don't know. The guy shook his leg and a fucking turd fell out. Oh, oh my God. And I immediately turned around and walked out. I, t- I, I just walked away because I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Give a fuck. I'm not that sick. I'm not that. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not that sick. I can get my fucking prescription tomorrow. <laughs> I'll take my chances with bronchitis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. It was, it was fucked up. I just remember. And I was like, and then I'm like sitting there and I'm feeling, I'm like, you know, the poor guy is, is an old guy. And I'm like, you know, maybe he could. But it's like. No. no, no, he shook no. his leg. He, he knew what he was his, doing. He, he knew what he was doing. Yeah, he he's done this before. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I, mean. I don't mean emotion. He had a motion. Yeah, like he had a that way. was his move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two two, oh two shakes. You know, Apple Pay and out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Apple Pay. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I was fucking dumbfounded. Like, Craig founded. <laughs> 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 no, catch up. Yeah, I no, I was just blown away, and I did the same thing. I just tur- I just turned around and walked out. So Shock! Like, what? Like, like uh, who, uh, who does that? Who does that? You know? Oh, awful. Who knew there'd be a theme? I mean, grossest. Obviously, it's going to be some kind of fluid. But we stuck yeah. right in the bathroom, and we stayed there. Yeah, I yeah. fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about it is when you see shit like that in this town, you're going to see them again. That's the thing. Like, yeah, I'd be like, "Don't you shake that leg," and then walk yeah. away from him. Just, just like, I know. That's but there I'm was, <laughs> there was, uh, there was this woman. We used to call her Crazy Rita. This is unshit related. Uh, <laughs> unshit related. She, you know, like every every town has their, you know, their like town fucking hobo crazy person or whatever, you know. Uh huh. And we had we had a couple, you know, we had one guy Joe Owo, another guy named Cassie. And then Crazy Rita. I would tell you to write a book, but <laughs> Crazy Rita is still alive too. Um, she used to walk down the street picking butts up off the ground, like you know, like to smoke them later. But she would take them and put them in her mouth, Ooh. like not in her mouth, like, like hanging a out, like yes, like a chipmunk story, like storing. Like she would just take the whole cigarette, put it in her mouth. And then look at you like if you were near her and she'd fucking like eat, put it in her mouth and run. Like a fucking psycho. <laughs> Scamper up a pole. Yeah. She was fucking. My hepatitis. Yeah. Yeah. But she would go and it was always, she would just like look. She would be walking, looking, looking, find one, pick it up, throw it in her mouth. Fucking just have a mouth full of fucking nasty old oh, butts. God. Oh. Yeah. But they were poke outs. It wasn't Yeah, just they a- were poke outs. Somebody else was smoking them. No, what I meant was like she wasn't just picking up filters. No, no. Uh, yeah, they were like uh, poke outs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy Rita. You know what's? It was occasionally sad. she'd fucking scream at you and run away, like yelling at you, crazy shit. Just you know, she's probably stuff. got the best immune system in the fucking state. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, she. Probably, that's why she's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Her teeth are white from buffing from all the ashtray <laughs> <Yeah>. sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We used to have some guy at the bus stop in Bristol. I called him Crazy Dave. I don't even know if Dave was his name, but he seemed like a Crazy Dave. Oh, and he he had long hair, like a big mullet kind of vibe. And his parents kicked him out, but they let him sleep on the porch in the winter months because you know family. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and sure enough, he would he started getting close to me, and he saw me and my family milling around one day. So next time I see him at the bus stop in the morning, he's like, "Oh, you got a beautiful kid, and you got a beautiful wife." He started stealing books from the record store in Warren to give to my kid. <laughs> the record store in Warren has like those sidewalk sales. And yeah. They put books out there and the understanding they're 25 cents. Don't rip me off. Come inside. Yeah. And pay for this. He would just take stacks of them <laughs> and, and be like, hey, this one's for your kid. She's going to love this one. It's like the invisible man. Yeah. You know, like, I'm like, my daughter's two. 
she's not gonna like yeah. stop stealing and I, 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 yeah. I had that relationship with him I'm like you gotta stop stealing and so I brought them all back to the record store and oh, the next you... week he says no I got you new books this time and it was half the ones I had already returned <laughs> And two library books. <laughs> and two library books. That's from the, fucking from the fan- Bristol Library. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> he took them out and just gave them to me. Just gave them to you. Like, oh, yeah, so, these... so I ran around two towns returning books that didn't belong to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> All because this guy was trying. So, like, that's the thing. Like, he's trying to do something nice. and Yeah. But, my God, that dude. And, oh, he smelled. Oh, God, that's so funny. That's awesome. You know, you guys reminded me, my, <laughs> you talk about, like, you have that one person in town. Yeah. Um, my dad telling me stories about this guy in town that was, like, he was the town drunk. And they yeah. used to get calls on him all the time when he was a cop. And he said they got a call. He was at a bar one night. That I, I'm going to say his name was Manny because he's an old Portuguese guy. So I'm going to be a little racist, but yeah. probably accurate. Yeah, probably accurate. Um, you got like a 40% shot. There. Yeah, that's you what I'm thinking. Um, like, yeah, you know, Manny's at this bar. We get He's, he's you know, being all belligerent again. He said they show up and Manny's sitting outside the bar on the side, on the, the curb. like, <laughs> And he's got, he's, he looks all fucked up, but he says he's got these blue dots all over his head. Like, what the fuck? He's like, Manny, what happened? And he doesn't speak any English. He's like, uh, now this is the guy that would also be like, eh, shut down a beer. Have a shot down a beer. And that's, oh, that's all he would say. That's all he would say, yeah. Th- this guy actually ended up in the same nursing home as my grandfather. So when I met him, he'd be like, shut down a beer? <laughs> <laughs> but, is it like I am Groot? Like, that's uh, all he said. That, that's yeah. exactly what it was like. <laughs> but um, so my they pull up to the, the bar and he's sitting outside with the fucking blue dots on his head. And like, what the fuck? And they try to talk to him and it's just, not only is he incoherent, but he doesn't speak English. My dad doesn't speak Portuguese. So he's like, I'm just going inside. <laughs> so they go inside, and it, it's it's like a bar pool hall. And it turns out he's mouthing off to all these guys. And the guys playing pool just started poking him in the face with the pool cues. So he's got, he's got, he's got a chalk on him. Like, Get the fuck out of there. Like poking him in the head with the pool cues. <laughs> That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> that is fucking funny as hell. <laughs> now, now the other story I heard about Manny was they get a call from his apartment about a disturbance. Now, he lived in an apartment on the second floor of a building. So if you guys imagine, you walk in the front door and there's like, Apartment doors on the lower level and then stairs up. Yeah. yeah. So they, they, they get a call for a disturbance, and there's Manny at the bottom of the stairs lying on his back with his head through the door of the apartment on the first floor. <laughs> <laughs> and his wife at the top of the stairs yelling at him in Portuguese down the stairs at him. It turns out he came home all fucking drunk and he was a little horny and he said, She bend over, I try to put it in. Right, so he just decided to try to fuck his wife when she picked something up on the floor. And she turned around and just started slugging him, and he fell down the stairs, and went through landed the on the landing, door. and his head went through the neighbor's door. They said when he got there, the neighbor was hitting him in the face with her broom because he broke her door. <laughs> so he's been beaten up by two Portuguese women in the same night. Two old Portuguese women. Screaming, yeah. shot in the beard, a shot in the beard. Yeah. It's like, she bend over, I, I stick it in. <laughs> And again, if the Portuguese and the Italians aren't similar, I don't know who are. Right, yeah. <laughs> the fucking blue dots on the head. My, my dad is, told me this story. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> that might be the best thing you've ever told. He's like, you should have seen three patrolmen standing up from like, what the fuck happened to this guy? And they were like, oh, we're just poking him in the face with the pool cues. <laughs> he wouldn't leave us alone. <laughs> so he just turned, it, he turned him into the cue ball. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Dave, you're up, brother. Oh, yeah. Support your homeless. Um, <laughs> With a pool cue. What the fuck? Philip, what does it say? Philippine students turn littered dog poo into bricks? <laughs> yes, it does. Yep. That, that's a headline? This was a headline. Or just something you wanted us to know. I just wanted you to know this. <laughs> no. It's like, wow, it can be done. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Get that guy in Bristol, just shake this. his leg out. Yeah. <laughs> Of making mason work. There was, this uh, house is great, except when it gets humid. <laughs> <laughs> no, the winter were, it turns white. 
I was shocked by this article. <laughs> These walls could talk. Not shocked by it, but it was just so funny because there's this girl standing there holding these two bricks. They look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently what they did is all they did, it, this was, my thing was, this was a headline. This was like news. And it was a science project that these uh, students, these Filipino students did. Apparently they've, they've got issues like dog um, ownership isn't regulated. Uh -huh. In the Philippines, you know, like, so they got tons of stray dogs all over the place. So there's dog shit everywhere. everywhere. Okay. So what they did was they were going around, they were cleaning up, taking the dog shit. Then they were mixing like, it's like 70% cement, 20% dog shit, and like a little bit of like sand or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, so there's hardly any dog shit in that brick, because if you put more in it, it, it's, it not just fuck, it's not a brick anymore. It's just a piece of shit that's yeah. going to fall apart. Right? So they made these bricks. And then they're saying, like, it's not, like, you can build a small shed. You can't, they're not strong enough to they're build. They're not structural. Yeah, they're not structural. You can build, like, a wall in your backyard or a shed or something. <laughs> I'd build a fucking doghouse to prove a point. Yeah. <laughs> but they're like. Sleep in that. Just rub your dog's nose in its wall. Yeah, but they're saying the streets are much cleaner now and stuff. You know, like the streets what? will be so much cleaner. And I'm like, yeah. But then the best is an article that says yard is filthy. The bricks they're they're weak, so you can only use them for certain things. They're not major structurally, um, but they give off an odor that they say will dissipate over time. <laughs> So great. That's what I want. But then all I could kept thinking was, wow, that's built with like a brick shit house. <laughs> you just people coming over be like, wow, I'm surprised you went with 21st century corn. Yeah. <laughs> like, what oh. the fuck? The, the fact that it made news was just ridiculous to me. It's like, how about just scooping up the shit and fucking making fertilizer? That would have been better. <laughs> Plant some vegetables. Plant some vegetables. If it something. makes you feel better, form the fertilizer into a brick. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. what the fuck, people? But what the fuck? Yeah. That, I mean, people are dying, and we're spending science money on this. Yeah, it was insane. I was just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Look, my stone wall has worms. Don't build it too high. It'll just fucking fall down. Yeah. Because <laughs> of the shit fucking that's in it. We put an inferior product inside this concrete. <laughs> <laughs> Not for use for building. Not for, <laughs> yeah. You can build a wall no, no bigger than four feet. <laughs> And it'll stink. Yeah. <laughs> Anything above 70 degrees, don't buy this. Don't, in the Philippines, it's a thousand degrees out all the time. <laughs> you can just make, you just sell it as shit brick without any kind of warnings. Why yeah. not just pave the roads with it? Since it's all there anyway, just spread it out. That was the other thing that they were saying. They could use it to pave like sidewalks and stuff. Oh, that's that they, good. They were like, so that's what we should do. Is, so you are just stepping in shit no matter what. <laughs> We're going to go shopping today. Ew, ew, <laughs> ew, ew, ew. What the fuck? I'm going to go to CVS in Bristol. Ew, yeah. ew, ew. <laughs> then to job lot. Ew, ew, <laughs> ew. Just constant fucking stank. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nothing like baking a fucking brick shit log and fucking... <laughs> And there were so many bad decisions that led up to this. Like there was a teacher that said, "I have an idea." I have an idea, and there was a fucking journalist that went, "Hey," and then a I town that we, was like, "You know what? I we'll pass we, an ordinance to let that yeah, happen." I think we got a story here. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention, parents were like, "Hey, kids, go outside and play with that dog shit." <laughs> Sorry, it's a school project. Go He's ahead. in the backyard mashing it with cement with their feet in a bucket. <laughs> Like they're matching grapes to make wine. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even have rubber gloves in fucking the Philippines. <laughs> These pig intestines, one on each finger. Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Wash their hands off in the piss sinks that they just installed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one genius who makes a fireplace out of it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, they don't have water beds, they have kitty litter beds now. <sighs> I'm, I'm getting us out of this. Yep. Way Let's too many, much of a theme tonight. <laughs> Lots of poop. Lots of poop. Okay, I don't know what this is, but uh, Muppet Movie Challenge. Oh, have you guys heard this? No. Oh, wait, is that the thing where you take out all the actors? Take out, yeah. Oh, Explain okay. away, pick, Dave. Pick a movie. It's, it's been online. It's it's kind of one of those those viral meme yeah. threads. You pick a movie, 
you replace all the characters with Muppets except for one. Except for one. You keep one character. You keep one character. I did see this, and I did do it. Actually, yeah, I have one, too. What do you got? I have a basic instinct, and you only keep the guy who played Newman from Seinfeld. <laughs> And that's it. Sweating profusely at a fabric. Well, that fever. was it. His face when she spread her leg across her, uncrossed her legs. Yeah. He was like, oh, like I've never seen one before. Yeah. And then you look at him and you're like, that's a good possibility. He's yeah. just really yeah. good at his job. But my God, can you can imagine a Sharon Stone Muppet. It's like Janice from the Muppet Show band. <laughs> she looked like yeah. a kind of dick sucking hippie anyway. Yeah. Ah! And I, I had one and I thought, uh, Forrest Gump. <laughs> Only keeping Gary Sneeze. Until the day. <laughs> <laughs> Fozzie Bear has to be far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On New Year's Eve. Happy New Year. Waka waka. I'm picturing like a, a fabric bubba running through the forest yeah. in the jungle. <laughs> ah, <laughs> arms uh, waving. Arms waving yeah. off, flailing to the side. <laughs> <laughs> you actually get the shrimp to talk on the show. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. <laughs> Miss Piggy Miss Piggy plays fucking Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> Piggy. <laughs> I love you, Piggy. <laughs> she, she got AIDS from the sty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not AIDS in, in, the, in the Muppet version. It's mold. mold. <laughs> Pilling. Pilling. <laughs> oh Can you imagine Muppet AIDS? They just take fabric out. <laughs> <laughs> you just see like a human hand with scissors come and just snip a piece off. Yeah. So off. You just get thinner people to control the puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, what did you have? I thought of John Wick. <laughs> and I would keep Keanu Reeves. I thought it would be fun to see a bunch of you fucking see Muppets just getting down exploded. Fucking Muppets. <laughs> And when I said I said that to Rich, he goes, "Yeah, all the all the Muppets would be exploding. They look like uh, it's a bunch of snakes in a can when they get shot. Like all the yeah. blood coming out. <laughs> it's it perfect. Uh, there's fluff and feathers all over the place. <laughs> uh, this... You take any good adult movie, and this works. Like, yeah, yeah. Like you'd have like Full Metal Jacket, and you just keep like Vincent D'Onofrio." Yeah, and so so he, you got a puppet like three feet tall screaming, and what is your major mouth? What function? is your major <laughs> mouth? <function? laughs> oh shit! I was, I was, you remember that Sean Penn movie when he was an inmate on death row? I think it was Dead Man Walking. Maybe. Uh yeah, that was it. Was Dead Man Walking? Yep. I <laughs> think that would be a fun one. But you leave. Uh, who was the actress in that? Um, wasn't that super... Renee Russo? No, not Renee Russo. I thought it was Brett Michaels. No, 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 no. no. It was, uh, um, <laughs> what's her name? Suze, uh, Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon, yeah. <laughs> you make him, everybody else, the Muppets, but you leave her. So she, she's she's going to watch yeah. him get executed. just burst in the flames in the electric chair. <laughs> <laughs> she's smoldering. <laughs> Trying to get the last rights to a bunch of burnt fabric. <laughs> Where did the helmet on? Just strap his ping pong ball eyes down. Shawshank Redemption. You just leave fucking Morgan Freeman, so it's like the Electric Company. <laughs> It'd be great though, because all those puppets have strings anyway. So when they all hang themselves. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy, Dr. Teeth, looks like he'd have a really good tongue out of the side of his mouth kind of pose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, that was good. That I got another one. That was good. All right. Uh, let's see. A palm reader stole $70,000 from a client to remove demon from the daughter's soul. 
I actually put this headline in as well. Did you? Because this I, happened locally. This happened 12 miles down the street. Yes. In this happened in Somerset, Somerset Massachusetts. On County Keep going. What? On County fuck? Road. On a place that I've driven by a thousand times. Really? I know. I know exact. I know the place exactly. So, so, so what happened first? You go ahead. You, this was yours. You go ahead. So she was. Um, she's a palm reader, and this woman came in. A client came in. And she did some fucking shit and apparently said that her daughter had a demon in her soul and she needed to get rid of it. So she just kept, she was taking goods, like expensive household items and cash worth $70,000 to exercise this demon. Like not actually to to giving it to this palm reader, giving it to the palm reader to get rid of the demon. Now, the funny thing (coughs) is they ended up arresting the woman, yeah, you know, the the palm reader. They ended up arresting her, and to me, I was like, "Why? Did she didn't do anything wrong? No, that, that's what they well, do. Well, she may, no, have, she she may have indicated she was qualified to do such a service when it should be a priest. She's a fucking palm reader, <laughs> <laughs> but she might have said she's supposed to tell you your future, not change it. And yeah, that's just it. I mean, they do have business licenses to operate. Yeah. They have to. I mean, it's under an entertainment. Yeah, license, yeah, yeah, yeah. But a priest is the only one that can exercise somebody. So if she falsely advertised. There actually is a case there. Yeah. The the the, the story it's, doesn't talk about any kind of exorcism. It just yeah. says banishing this demon. Banishing the demon. Now the funny thing is, is the demon banished? We don't know. <laughs> Maybe it worked. But that was the whole thing. My thing was, is if you're fucking dumb enough, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to go to a fucking palm reader. On fucking County Road in Somerset. <laughs> was this the one over by the ice cream joint? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yes. by, by the train yeah. d- diner and all that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly where it is. Yes. Yep. <laughs> and uh, she fucking. The funny thing is, is even in her in her um, she got like a smirk on her, like a, a like a like a subtle smirk on her face in her picture. Oh, like, in her mugshot. In her mugshot, because yeah. she knows she's she already knows she's out of it. She can see the future. <laughs> <laughs> she already knows she's getting away with it. No, but my thing is, oh wow, yeah. Oh, what a she looks twatty. Yeah, she does. She looks seriously yeah. twatty. But my thing is, I get, I get it. But she must have just this woman must have come in and she, and this woman must have hung on every word that she said. Of course she did. That she said, you know what? I'm gonna, I fucking, I need some money this week. Hey, what's the bigger crime here? The fact that that woman's allowed to be a parent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. You can get a license to be a palm reader. If I have more power to you, don't need one of them for a kid. Yeah, and that's the serious crime here. Is that girl is probably fucked. Oh yeah, yeah. Ugh. I guarantee this is not the first place she's gone to talk about her daughter. Yeah, more reputable palm yeah. readers have probably kicked her out. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those bastions of professionalism known as yep. palm readers. Bastions of professionalism. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But this woman was able to suck seventy grand <laughs> of this other person. Seventy grand. It'd be great if her quote in the courtroom was, "I didn't even see that coming." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does my palm say? It says that you're going to use it to grab your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> you will soon be one wallet lighter. Yeah. It's fucking insane. But that, but at the same time, that's why I say. As much as yeah, that that palm reader woman, she's a scumbag. Is she, yeah, I mean, but, she saw an opportunity. She saw an opportunity. Advantage. She took it. But the other person was gullible enough to. She didn't rob her of it. Nope. The she woman asked her for it. Asked her for it, and the woman willingly gave it to her. Yeah. Maybe under false pretenses. Well, pretty. Fucking sure they were false pretenders. Oh, we we, we don't know what her daughter's like. She could be a fucking lunatic. Yeah, exactly. You don't get into palm reading because everything else is working out for you in life. Yeah, <laughs> too fucking funny. All right, Craig, pick one. All right, you are granted three wishes: one for you, one for someone you know, and one for someone you don't know. Don't start with me. <laughs> this is this is pretty good. Dave. All right. So one one for me, right? Yep. I would, oh boy, I would wish for a stronger anus. <laughs> 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 it's 
sounds like it may be for the someone you know too. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, honestly, I, stronger. I, like, <laughs> with all the workout you give it, you think you'd be jacked, right? <laughs> you should just start doing kegels. Yeah. While we're here. <laughs> Why do you think I keep leaning back? <laughs> I want to hear Rocky music and him just trying to pick up like grocery bags. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know I'm going to open myself up here, but I don't no, care. No, I don't. No, no. <laughs> it's no. like when they cut open the Tauntaun in the Empire State. Change my wish for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I would, I would, I would change an aspect of myself. I would, I would wish that I could get into better shape when I tried. I've told you guys before that I used to be a runner and I ran a marathon. Yeah. And even when I did that, I was, I didn't never look like a fit runner. I was still a big guy when I did it. Yeah. And I would I was running 40 50 miles a week at one point. Really? It was insane. Maybe you just built this way. Right. That, well, that's the thing. Like but I've 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 always been kind of on a little it's bit It's called a uh uh what do they call it? Here we, uh, here uh, we go. <laughs> here we go. You know it should be so much funnier if you knew the word. Yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> It's going to be hard for him to edit out 30 minutes of him thinking yeah. of a word. <laughs> I think it's all the weird hissing coming from your ear. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't some, know. For someone I know, I would actually, I would wish that Ray was still around for my wife. Yeah. I would wish that he was still around. Oh, there you go. Let me ask you this. Even if, though, if Ray was still around, would you be? Well, no, I'd be tortured constantly. Yeah, you would be constantly, you would be berated but her life might have gone an entirely different direction. We've talked yeah. about that, but I think about it from this moment right now. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I can make this happen right this moment, then, yeah. He, he would bust your balls relentlessly. He would love you. That's what she says. She is just like Uncle Mike. If he's not busting your balls, that's when you get nervous. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like I, it, the way things go in this house, like, the, the two-year-old, if she wakes up in the middle of the night, I'm like... Because I know Ray's in there like, hey, it's time to get up. Yeah, yeah. Because he knows I'm going to hear her and not Ray in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that would be my wish for someone that I know. For someone that I don't know, that's a tough one. I would, honestly, I would probably, this is this might sound sappy, but I would probably go up to like um, like the, uh, uh, the cancer hospital in Boston or something and just find a kid that's got some terminal and just make him better. Yeah. yeah, just something like yeah. that. Like I, I, when I was growing up, one of my friends in, in high school, is junior high school into high school. This this kid went through three rounds of separate bone cancer, and he he survived. He's still alive. Really? Yeah. Well, that's that's awesome. He's a he's a actually gastrointestinal doctor now, but God damn. going through like seeing him go through that when we were. I thought you would have been a cancer 13, doctor, but that's cool. Whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> Selfish prick. <laughs> Way to give back. Yeah. <laughs> Douchebag. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he deserves it. <laughs> but like I'm just just seeing what the, like what he went through. Yeah. I know how tough it was for me, and it was just my friend. Yeah. I wouldn't want anyone to do that. Now being a parent, and now I, it, I couldn't imagine having to deal with some shit like that. So if I could make it better for one person, I'd be, I would do that. Yeah. All right. So to so to recap, anus, Ray, cancer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're a better man than me. <laughs> what would you do? What would you wish for yourself? For myself, would be, you know, like everybody, the million dollar thing. You know, it's. It's not about that. It would, I would like to, yeah, trillion. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> no. It's not about like a certain amount of money because I could stay in the house that I live in and be, but just to be enough comfortable that I just don't have to fucking work anymore, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I could just enjoy the rest of my life doing what I do. You know what I mean? I don't need to be going on fucking private jets anywhere. I'm fine. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? I'm good. I'd like, still have you pick me up, by the way. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. And I'd be fine like, with that. Like, if all your bills were paid and everything, that you'd be all good with that. All my bills are paid, and I could still go on a, on, a, on a nice vacation once in a while and still do the things that I do without worrying about it, that would be perfect for me. And uh, for someone that I know, I would probably find somebody that is that has struggled through their life but has worked hard to not struggle and give them the same thing you know what I, you know what i'm saying like to give them that someone that's that's spent their time fighting to just stay afloat but literally fighting you know <laughs> like putting in the effort and, and and trying and doing all this shit and not getting it and give them that same thing and for someone i didn't know it would be um just a constant itch right on their <laughs> asshole <laughs> just because I know that there would be one guy out there in the world just constantly having to scratch his asshole <laughs> and that I did it would be perfect <laughs> can you like pick the guy that gets it though so like yeah. you, like you, you go to church like that guy yeah, yeah, you just look at him and you lock in and then you give him phantom anal yeah. itch <laughs> And you just see him uncomfortable in front of and the And you chair. just, everywhere he goes, he's like constantly like shifting his legs and moving his... <laughs> I'd say do it to the priest, but they're used to that. So uh, <laughs> they know how to you work make around. brief eye contact and just snap, and then all of a sudden he twitches really quick. And you know. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. That would top off the rest of my first wish for myself. I would introduce myself to him almost immediately after the train. So how are you feeling, sir? Yeah. What's going on? Uh, What's the problem? Good mass? I yeah. mean ass? I mean good. mass? Here, let's sit down. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not shaking his hand. <laughs> you, if you had the ability to, like, change it, make it more intense, like you turn up the dial. Like a, yeah, like a remote. <laughs> That would be fantastic. I think we can all agree a, a rough anal itch is, is, is a burden. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, it's a problem. I just would be persistent. <laughs> so I, I'd, I'd amp it up. I'd be like, oh, he's at three. We need it at eight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. For, for myself, I would make myself 28 years old so I could tell everybody I was banging this MILF. <laughs> uh, I think for someone I know... I would uh, probably make myself a slightly better person, like you guys have been hinting I need to be. Right. And then <laughs> for people I didn't know, uh, if I had the ability to snap my fingers and cure cancer, I wouldn't just choose one child. I would choose the whole ward <laughs> because I'm a better person than Dave. Dave basically said to this kid, hey, I'm going to cure you and then all of these other hey, dying see, children. Your buddy in the chair <laughs> over there. You're going to have to say goodbye to him, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because he's leaving the hospital, and you're all staying. Yeah. <laughs> I have all this magic right in my thumb, but I'm just picking one of you. Yeah. <laughs> like the Willy Wonka of death. Uh, <laughs> it was does say, It does say someone you don't know. So it is a single person. I would then, well, I'd, I'd say the doctor taking care of all these dying children. I'm wishing that Suddenly. I cured all... Suddenly had magic hand. <laughs> yeah, he literally cured an entire ward. Yep. When Dave just came in and cured one. So that was my whole point. I'm a better person than yeah, Dave. That's what I really. I'll agree. <laughs> I'm in. And that would be that. All, All right. right. Well, hey, for the first show of 2020, the end of the show is going to sound a lot like the ones from 2019. But <laughs> <laughs> we're still at represent.com slash store slash NTS podcast. And yes, swag is there. Buy it. Do, you know, wear it. Wear it proud. Uh, check us out on social media. It's a Twitter at NTS on Twitter at NTS underscore podcast on Facebook at NTS no underscore podcast and on Instagram at all lowercase needless to say podcast. Like we've been saying, Instagram seems to be the best way to get a hold of us. So by all means, watch Dave's videos. Dave is very proud of those, <laughs> those yeah. videos. And um, if you're worried about the color settings on your phone, no, his room really is that orange. <laughs> yeah. It is psych ward yellow on the walls. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then surrounded by a lot of orange and purple. It's, it's like the Cheetos factory exploded. Yeah. yeah. Keeps me awake when I'm working. 
<laughs> it's have, easy to focus on a monitor instead of the that, walls. That ain't a lich. <laughs> <laughs> I've been squirming a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's all for me, fellas. I got nothing else. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Fun night. Good to get back in the groove. Next week we'll probably be even more settled in. We kind of yes. took December off. It was. Well, it's 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 a tiring. Uh, except, and, and like we said, it was tough because we were working and the holidays were dead in the middle of each week. So it throws everything off and you're trying to get stuff done and trying to deal with, you know, enjoying the holidays with your family and work and doing this. So yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of off, but we're getting, we'll get back into yeah. the swing of things and you know, uh, now it is almost Brad's birthday. It is. <laughs> and I can tell by his face, he's fully expecting us to roast him, yep. but that's not going to happen nope. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we have something a little different planned for Brad's birthday. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, Craig, why don't you tell us about a sponsor? Uh, Endeavor Podcast Solutions. If you have a podcast, looking to create a podcast, need help with any audio. Um, editing. Editing. Intros. Intros. Outros. Outros. <laughs> <laughs> Talking. Talking. <laughs> Repetitive <Cue cars>. Repetitiveness. <laughs> Just give them a call or contact them at EndeavorPodcastSolutions.com and they've got you covered. If uh, if our friends over at Endeavor could tell me what the fuck these two are planning for my birthday, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Brad, why don't you take us out this week? Needless to say, we said it.